This video presents IDM Viz, Intensive Type 1 Diabetes Management Visualization for Clinicians. Step 1 is to upload data from patient medical devices and logbooks, including blood glucose meters, continuous glucose monitors, ketone meters, food logs, insulin delivered manually or by pump, and exercise logs. Step 2, explore this data with IDM Viz. The IDM Viz interface shows the patient's data for the last two weeks. It consists of a two week overview, a detailed view for individual days, a summary statistics panel, and a control bar. Zooming in on the two week overview, we can see rows for each day with labels along the left. Each day is a timeline of events, including dots for continuous glucose monitor readings and triangles for events such as meals, exercise, and sugar to treat low blood glucose. Mousing over an event highlights events of that type, in this case breakfast, and we see how they're distributed over time. Mousing over the next event highlights all lunches. The purple dots after lunches here indicate long, high blood glucose intervals that we want to eliminate. Now let's align the rows using lunch as a sentinel event. We see the same high afternoon patterns. Let's align instead by both breakfast and lunch to see the interplay between them. Now we see that two breakfasts were skipped or were not logged. Why are there so many lunch events on September 3rd? Let's select that day and look at its detail view. Wow, the blood glucose readings using the finger stick blood glucose meter, which is considered the gold standard, are quite different from the ones we're getting from the continuous glucose monitor. We might need to educate the patient on how to calibrate these monitors effectively so that they're much more aligned. This looks like a rough lunch over here. I see the patient ate several things, including pizza. Pizza is hard to dose for because of the mix of fast acting carbohydrates and fat. That explains some of the discrepancy here and the high blood glucose values. Let's look at the breakfast to lunch period in detail for several days. We see that there tends to be a rise in blood sugar between these two meals. So we should adjust the insulin to carbohydrate ratio for breakfast so that we get a little more insulin. How's our insulin protocol working overall? Let's look at our summary statistics view where these violin charts show that we're getting more bolus insulin for meals and corrections than we are getting basal steady state insulin. Let's adjust our ratios so we get about the same. Looking at food and insulin for particular meals, we see that dinners tend to be large and varied. We should be careful adjusting dinner ratios as they could have a big effect. All right, let's write up our treatment plan and continue the clinical visit. And let's plan to check in with our patient in a week to see how well the changes worked. It's been a week and the patient is back in our office. It's great to see you. Let's see how well our changes worked. We first need to upload the data again before we can explore it with IDM Viz. Once we have the data loaded, let's change to look at the most recent data and check out those afternoons, which were problematic before. Afternoons are doing much better now, but we see that the CGM cut out for the afternoon of the 13th. Mornings are doing pretty good too, but what happened on the 12th? There's a lot of purple dots, a lot of highs during that time period, and we see a low around midnight. The detail view shows us that there were lows before and after dinner, and then at midnight as well. Let's look at the next day. After midnight, there was a big adrenaline spike, which caused high blood sugars, and the patient had to keep administering insulin all night to try to compensate. But good job overall. These are awesome results. Let's meet again in one month. This was IDM Viz, Intensive Type 1 Diabetes Management Visualization for clinicians.
Bye-bye.